it, it was just pointless. It was like a cheat code Saints Row to third, but with a title Saints Row four slept on it. I just didn't like it. It was dumb, but it was fun, but I just I really prefer the third one. And I really prefer the second one too, so the first two, uh, the third and the second one's great, in my opinion. I hope for the new Saints Row game, they kind of go back to like Saints Row Two, pre Saints, uh, Saints Row the Third. Really, just go back to that. It, you know, I don't want you know Saints Row Five to, you know, I don't want a sequel to the fourth one. I just don't. So, hopefully, they'll. To do something right with Saints Row, so um, I'm excited that they're doing a movie. So, <laughs> uh, did you? I played Agents of Agents of Mayhem. I did play that. I didn't enjoy it. Um, I don't care if you have Johnny Gat in it. I just did not like it. Um, I don't care if it takes place after the events of Gat Out of Hell. Where recreate the Earth at the in the ending. I don't care if it takes place after that. So, um, yeah, I'm happy that they're doing a, you know, I'm happy that they're doing a movie of Saints Row. So, hopefully, it's good. I mean, you got F, you know, Gary Gray in it. So F Gary Gray directing. Yeah. So. Um, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. So. Uh, let's see. Close to wrapping the show up. I have to... I'm excited for the Mount Monsters, so. I'm excited for that one. Have you played the Saints Row the Third for a while? I did once the Xbox once it was like um what is it like you could play backwards capability. <laughs> I played the third one. I really enjoyed it. It's still a pain in the ass. So uh, uh, the level not the level, but the part where you have to protect the chick in the helicopter. And you're like flying and you have to like shoot all the bad people, the bad guys. I forget what they were called. Uh, the ones that are red and black, I think it is. I mean, that was a pain in the ass to get through that one. I just didn't like that level, so. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I just... What do you think of the Damian Wayne Batman video game that was canceled? Um, I read that it took place like after Arkham Knight. I thought that was a really cool uh, part. I think that the video game set after Arkham Knight would have been interesting, in my opinion. I, you know, I I don't know how. I don't know where they would go from it. I I think you know it would be an interesting concept to do like Damian Wayne Batman Beyond. Video game, but I think if they do a Batman video game, it's sort of like a standalone from Arkham. They'd be better off doing that. They would be better off using some of like the controls and you know the engine that they use for Arkham Knight, and just do a new Batman story, new Batman look and all that. Um, I'd still like to see a multiplayer Batman video game. I think it'd be cool to play with a friend on Batman. Uh, and you also like get to choose your own character. You could play as either Batman, uh, Tim Drake, not, let's start over, Batman, Catwoman, Tim Drake, Robin, Jason Todd, Red Hood, Nightwing, 
Batgirl, or Batgirl Stephanie Brown. I like Stephanie Brown as Batgirl. I know a lot of people will probably find it sacrilegious <laughs> to say that, but, yeah. And uh, Damien, Damien Wayne, Robin. It'd be cool if they did that. Um, and they had, like, different skins of the characters. Yeah, so. It'd be cool to see that. But I know that they are doing something else. And the DC video games. Um, yeah, I just, I say this, like, just wait until they announce something. I just, I have a feeling they're going to announce something. You know, I mean, they've been working on it for who knows how long, so hopefully they got everything right that they needed to fix. And I know a lot of people will bitch and complain and moan and cry that, you know, WB Montreal has been working too hard, working too long on a video game. It's like, you know, there, there are people who are very... What is the term? They're very... They always had to have... They're perfectionists. They always had to have perfection in something. And... You know, I know a lot of people complain that they... Worked on... You know, they haven't worked on a video game in a while. It's like, well, you know... If you've seen the cancelled Batman, Damian Wayne game... They did a... Suicide Squad video game, and it got cancelled, and they had to start over from scratch, like, something just didn't click with those games, and you have to realize that. When they work on, when you work on a project, when something just doesn't feel like it's clicking together, you can't work through it, you can't just work through, like, well, it isn't clicking together, let's just get through and work through it. You have to realize that they just something wasn't clicking right in one of their projects and they had to like start over or they did something and the head of Warner Brothers just wasn't really impressed with it and they had to cancel and start over so you know and I know Rocksteady's been working on a lot of... I don't know what rocksteady has been working on. So. I know on Wikipedia, if you look, it says... Video game based on existing IP. <laughs> so. Who knows what they're working on. It's probably Superman. I don't know. Anyway. Um, wrapping up the show. It's been fun. And for those who are still upset over Spider-Man and the MCU, it's okay. Everything will be okay. You got plenty of titles to go through. Just, just rest. It's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. I think. I don't know. I don't work at Marvel, so... Anyway... <laughs> It's been fun. It's Josh, the podcast. See ya.